Hello, Bethel Community Church. This is Pastor Nathan. Uh, today for our Monday devotion, we're going to look at chapter 3 of Ruth and just continue on going through the book of Ruth. And chapter 3 is a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of the, the marriage proposal uh, from Ruth, kind of arranged by Naomi, where uh, Boaz is the is a kinsman redeemer. He's he's eligible to be a kinsman redeemer to Naomi and Ruth, and that means he can he can redeem the family, redeem the family line. Which is when you look in chapter four, when Obed is born, uh, that's that's part of the reason why Obed is counted as Naomi's uh, offspring, uh, a son to her. He's Obed's going to carry on, perpetuate the family line uh, for Naomi not he's not counted for the inheritance and perpetuating the line of uh boaz um and so it's it's specifically for for naomi's line uh, and so uh, the kinsman redeemer redeeming the the family the property all of that um boaz is stepping is uh naomi proposes that Boaz step in and act as that. It's also kind of an arranged marriage, even though Boaz is older and um, Ruth is Ruth is a widow. Uh, it's still kind of arranged marriage by Naomi, who's taking, is sending Ruth to go out and to meet with Boaz and and bring up the subject. And so we're gonna read a little of that. Let's jump in in verse ten. Uh, this is after uh, Boaz wakes up and finds ah. There's a lady sleeping right next to my feet. And he's like, what's going on? And, and Ruth, uh, Ruth essentially proposes to him, and then this is kind of his response. So we'll start in verse 10. The Lord bless you, my daughter, he replied. This kindness is greater than that which you showed earlier. You have not run after younger men, whether rich or poor. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all that you ask. All the people of my town know that you are a woman of noble character. Although it is true that I am a, a guardian redeemer of our family, there is another who is more closely related than I. Stay here for the night, and in the morning, if he wants to do his duty as your redeemer, good, let him redeem you. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it lie here until morning. So again, you have uh, Boaz recognizes that Ruth is a woman of character, and he responds as a, as a man of character, saying, hey, yes, I'm willing to do this. This is a wonderful blessing to me. We kind of infer that he's a little older, um, and, and he's, he's willing and happy to do this, happy to uh, take on the role of uh, redeeming the family name, bringing the property under care again, even though it's going to, it's going to benefit kind of Naomi's line rather than specifically building up Boaz's own particular family line. Um, and it's, it's still of benefit to him. He gets to get married to Ruth, who's clearly an awesome person. Uh, and he, and he recognizes that. But he also takes the step of saying, hey, there's someone who's a closer relative closer redeemer we need to go through the step and see if he is willing to redeem uh redeem redeem you and the property and the family and if not he swears by the name by yahweh that he will do it and we see him and we'll, we'll get into this, in this next chapter see how boaz goes about making good on his promise and uh doing so in a way that's uh wise uh, and all ultimately to the benefit of Naomi and Ruth. So just again, seeing, seeing love lived out well in a time period that was difficult, was harsh, was violent, was chaotic. And Boaz and Ruth uh, show, show just examples of how to follow Yahweh in a very difficult time and place. And their care for Naomi, their care for one another, uh, the, the character, the noble character that they both display is just, is just wonderful. So, uh, kind of along the lines last time, uh, let's, let's look at Naomi, or let's look at Ruth and Boaz's character. And, and just as we're called in the New Testament to look at those who are mature in the faith, who, 
who not only know it intellectually, but live it, and to imitate them. I think Boaz and Ruth are two who we should imitate. Uh, we should uh, we should care for others, be a people of noble character, uh, and follow, follow the commands of our Lord. So...